All right, y'all, it's your boy, Trey, man. And today we got Bible Talk episode two. Yeah, episode two. Today we're going to be reading 2 Corinthians 9. Uh, yeah, chapter 9. Um, last week when I did this, a lot of y'all, uh, I think I, I got a good amount of likes and a decent amount of views. And um, like I said, y'all comment down below um, if you have anything to say about what I read. Or if I missed something, I didn't understand something. That's what I'm doing this for. So we can all just share the gospel together because that, that's like the most important thing we can um, do in life. But yeah, man, let me pray real quick before we start reading this. Lord, thank you. Today is September 1st. Lord, thank you for the new month. Lord, I pray that this month is full of blessings. I pray that it's a new start for some people. I pray that it's a day of change for some people. You know, the new month, a lot of people take that very seriously. And I just pray that what we read today, you give us the ears to hear what it's saying and just the mind to understand it. Amen. Amen, amen. So let's get into it. We're going to hop into um, 2 Corinthians chapter 9. It says, administering the gift. And now, now concerning the ministering to the saints, it is super, <laughs> super, yeah, super valus, super valus, superfluous. <gasps> oh, I can't read. Oh my god, this. Um, it is superfluous for me to write it to you, for me to write to you, for I know your willingness about which I boast of you to the Macedonians that. Akio was ready a year ago, and your zeal has stirred up the majority. Yet, I have sent the brethren, lest our boasting of you should be in vain in this respect, that as I said, you may be ready, but as some Macedonians come with you and find you unprepared, we, not to mention you, boasting. Therefore, I thought it necessary to exhort the brethren to go to you ahead of time and prepare your generous gift beforehand, which you had previously promised that it may be ready as a matter of generosity and not as a grudging obligation. So he said, prepare your generous gift beforehand, which you had previously promised that it may be ready as a matter of generosity and not of a grudging obligation. So do this, do this because you want to do it, not because you have to do it, you know? The cheer, the cheer for, <clears throat> the cheerful giver. But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Yeah, I know. Y'all know what sow and reap mean. Like you sow what you, you reap what you sow. So, <clears throat> and he who sows beautifully will also reap beautifully. So what you do, what you do. It's what you're going to get. That's what that's saying. Uh, let me see. So let so let each one give as. Hold on. This might be talking about tithing. Let each one give as he proposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a, chill, a, cheerful, a cheerful giver, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you that you always have all sufficiency suffic- sufficiency and all things may have an abundance for every good week as it is written he has dispersed abroad he has given to the poor his righteousness endures forever this is good because starting this month of September I'm going to start typing regularly it's just these last few months it's been a real financial struggle for me so I really didn't tithe but I should have but starting in September I'm gonna budget right so I'm able to tithe this is so good literally my pastor talked about this on the last few Sundays about tithing how you give away the first 10 percent and the other 90 percent is redeemed because yeah you give away your first and your last is redeemed which is like Really good. That's that's what Second Corinthians nine is saying right here, I believe. So let me know what y'all think about that down below. Um, next up, we got um, verse ten. Now may 
he who supply seed to the sower and bread and bread for food, supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness while you are enriched in everything for all li- liberally liberally which causes thanksgiving through us to God for the administration of this service not only supplies the needs of the saints but also is aboundingly through many thanksgivings to God while through the pr- while, while through the proof of this ministry they glorify God for the obedience of your confession to the gospel of Christ and your liberal sharing with them and all men and by their prayer for you for who long for you because of the exceedingly grace of God in you. Thanks be to God for his indescribable gift. That's amazing. That's that literally is talking about the power of tithing and what it can do for you in your life. And just God loves people who tithes best, basically what that's saying. But that's, that's actually really good. I'm glad we read this because in this next season, I'm going to be tithing really regularly, like no matter what. Man, so it doesn't specifically say that. I actually have no idea where the first 10% comes from. If you know where that comes from in the Bible, let me know down below. But as it said back in, back in verse 8, for God loves a cheerful, a cheerful giver, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you. Like, God, when we give away our first 10%, God is going to bless the rest. Like, the rest of your money is redeemed, which is so cool. Like, it says it right here in the Bible. That's why you should tithe. That's really amazing. That's That's great. That's actually really good. But don't just tithe to receive blessings. Do it because you want to do it, you know. But, um, yeah, and it's also talked talked about giving to the poor. Like, man, giving to the poor is amazing. I genuinely love that. But um, let me know what y'all think about that down below. Um, Yeah, that was really good. I really like that. Um, Let me pray us out, man. Lord, thank you for opening my eyes to be able to understand what the – verse was talking about what the scripture was talking about lord i pray that i'm able as i continue to read the bible i'm able to understand more and more clearer as the time goes on as i read it more and more every day lord i just pray for anybody watching this video i pray blessings over their life right now i pray for any anybody who's watching this video who needs healing in their life lord i just pray for healing in anybody's family who, who may have a sick family member or a family member in the hospital, I just pray for them right now, Lord. I pray for you to heal them right now. And, Lord, I just I just am so thankful and grateful for what you're doing in my life, Lord, and I pray that you can use me to bless other people. Amen, man. So this is Bible. um, Amen. (laughs) Amen, man. But, um, y'all, this is um, Bible Talk episode two, man. Let me know if y'all been enjoying this. I'm going to do this every thursday this one is friday because i literally worked all day this thursday and literally didn't have a second to spare but you know we're getting back on track next week man y'all hit that like and sub button i'm gonna see y'all next bible talk